What in the world did we do before the internet? <laughs> That's the question a lot of people were asking over the weekend with outages all throughout the state. While it was an inconvenience for some, for others it meant they had to close up shop. I'm sure business chaos for everybody in the state of Maine. Alec Altman is the owner of Binga's Wingas with three locations. Well, I got the call from the first restaurant, we lost the internet. I got a call from the second restaurant, we lost the internet. Friday nights are usually the busiest for Binga's Wingas, especially when there's a Mariners game just across the street. Every seat in here is pretty much full. But for all that business this weekend, it was back to basics. There was no internet. Our backup plan is, you know, operate the way restaurants did in the 80s. Write things down, you know, encourage cash. It, it's a pain. <laughs> Some people like Jen Adams don't carry cash, but at a local bakery. Is there any chance that we could get our stuff and then just give you our name and pay you tomorrow? The inconvenience served up a friendly reminder. And she said, you know what, there's actually five people tonight that have done that already, so absolutely go ahead. <laughs> That's the joy of Maine. With outages statewide, many turn to, well, the internet for answers. Spectrum tweeting in part, we understand how important your services are and we'll have them restored as soon as possible. We appreciate your continued patience. Then just after 11 Friday night, Spectrum tweeted again that the fiber break had been resolved. The chaos concluded for customers and business owners, all the while some places hardly noticed, like Marcy's Diner. No internet, no problem. And they have amazing muffins too. <laughs> Aside from the internet, tens of thousands of Central Maine power customers lost power Friday. And according to CMP, crews from Connecticut came up to help restore power to about 51,000 customers affected.